Well, November is Native American Heritage Month, chosen to recognize the American Indians' rich cultural heritage and their strength, their resilience, and their achievement. I looked into the history of the Native Americans in Sinlaw, and today's back home in Louisiana. Sinlaw is a beautiful area in Louisiana with lots of scenic landscapes, from the hilly regions of pine trees to the beautiful open prairies, and the small swamplands to the large rivers. Today, central Louisiana is made up of a diversified group of people with roots worldwide. But the land in Senlaw was first a home for a population of people that many have forgotten. In the early days of Louisiana history, Senlaw was a popular home for Native American Indians. John Barbary is the director of the Language and Revitalization Program for the Tunica Biloxi Tribe and studies the history of the many native tribes around central Louisiana. Tell me about the American Indians and how they dealt with the settlers from France and from Spain. A lot of uh, traditional uh, knowledge was interrupted when the, co the colonists came, the French and the Spanish. Uh, we migrated down the, the Mississippi River and then up the, Mis the Red River uh, on, on the Evolves Prairie. And so we all kind of settled uh, like uh, where the uh, Red River meets the Mississippi. For thousands of years, the American Indian loved the open land and the natural foods and wildlife that we've all grown to love in Louisiana. Michael Wynn is a local historian and has written books documenting the Sinlaw area's history. In the earliest days, the central Louisiana was inundated with Indian tribes. It is absolutely amazing how many Indians and different tribes and villages. In 1492, Christopher Columbus traveled across the Atlantic Ocean and discovered the new world of America. Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto traveled down the Mississippi River and into the Gulf as early as the mid-1500s. Then in 1682, the French explorer La Salle claimed the territory at the foot of the Mississippi River for France and named it Louisiana after King Louis XIV. Louisiana grew fast with European settlers in the New Orleans area, where the Mississippi River flows into the Gulf and international trade began. And foreign settlers slowly migrated farther north into central Louisiana, a big home for Louisiana Native Americans. I'm Johnny Atkinson, back home in Louisiana.